Now, isn't it interesting that you first came to recognize this when you were about to kill yourself? Yes. Yes, sometimes you have to reach a limit. Humans have to reach a limit. The human species as a whole is reaching that limit. Mm -hmm. But also on a personal level, sometimes people have to be pushed to the limit. My ego was so obstinate, I had to be pushed to the limit before the, it cracked open. Well, share that moment that you talk about in the beginning of Power of Now. Yes. Feeling so much pain. Dreadful suffering at night. I would often wake up in extreme feeling of dread and fear, consumed by dread and fear. The whole world seemed alien. And I saw the thought one night, I woke up again, the thought came, I can't live with myself any longer. I just can't live with myself any longer. It's so painful. And then suddenly something happened inside me and I looked at the thought. That was, of course, awareness. I didn't know that at the time what it was. I became aware of the thought and I said, I cannot live with myself. That's strange. So there must be I and there must be myself. Is, am I one or two? I seem to be two. <laughs> <laughs> because if I can't live with myself, there must be two of me. Well, here. and everybody has felt that. Everybody has felt or heard or you, you heard you say to yourself, I said to myself. Yes. I said to myself. Yes. And of course, the entire, what we call the voice in the head, we could also call it self-talk, mm -hmm. where you talk to yourself. And most people address themselves as you. So the voice says, you shouldn't have done that, or you should better, or uh, yes. so there's a constantly, there's a, there's a separation inside human beings, which is the essence of ego. Right. That there's a, here's an image of who I think I am, and then there's a me, and okay. they, they get mixed up together. Okay, I'm sorry I interrupted you with that <laughs> thought, though, but you, you said, I can't live with myself any longer. Yes. Said that several times in your mind. And then I, the sen I became aware of the structure of the sentence and said, if that's the case, then who is the self that I cannot live with and who am I? Wow. And all my thought processes, which were ego, would be, and they, it was all my thought processes that had created the dreadful suffering. Mm. The, the mind-created entity, the unhappy me, was continuously fed by my thinking. It, it consisted of thinking, a, a stream of thinking. So did you, just, did you just decide that night, I guess I'll wait to see if no. I will kill myself? No. Yeah. The, the, I kind of, it was a kind of spiritual suicide. So the ego died. Instead of me having to jump off a bridge, fortunately, mm -hmm. the ego died. The ego dissolved. The ego as the unobserved mind dissolved. The ego. The false self, the me, the unhappy story. Oh, got it. Me as the unhappy, my identity as me and my unhappy story. Died. Died, dissolved, because the I behind it suddenly woke up and said, who is that self that I can't live with? And when you fully look at that self, it actually dissolves, because it cannot survive in the light of intense consciousness. Wow. And the next morning I woke up and looked around and looked, everything looked so fresh. All the old furniture, the, the pencil, everything looked fresh and alive. And I could hear bird song outside. Wow. As if I'd never heard it before. Wow. Because the, the mind had become still. And there was simply the beautiful perception of everything. The yeah. sunlight coming through the curtains. Incredible. I said, well, I've never seen that before.